Hey, have you ever been unimpressed by the amount of light that your stock garage door opener light throws off? I have a fix for that, and we're going to go through that today. Now, before you say, wait, I don't have a garage, this fix might work for you too in a low light room. Let's see how it works. Okay, so the first thing you do is you get your garage door open, garage door opener open, so you can see where you would put the light bulb, and you take that bulb out, and then you get one of these, and they also sell ones that, that don't have dual, but just a single, where it just screws in, and then there's the outlet right, just comes out of the, uh, back of it right here. Anyway, you screw that in and there are various places around that sell um, long LED lights. They look like fluorescent lights, but they are actually LED. And so that's what I'm going to use to plug into here and that will significantly increase the light in my garage. And you could also use this in other rooms that had uh, low light based on the stock light socket or whatever. Okay, so here's the LED light I'm talking about right there. And so I will just, um, well, I have mounted that to the ceiling. And then I will plug that into... the outlet that I've now created in my garage door opener. And so what this will do is when the, the relay or the switch inside the garage door opener turns this light bulb on, it will actually turn on this LED light. And then this LED light actually has a place to plug in another light. And so not only do I have that light, but that also runs to another light over here that's the same size. And so when the garage door light turns on, it will turn on both of these lights and you can, uh, and you'll be able to see the difference. I'll do a comparison, kind of a, a jump back and forth between what it looks like when it's really dark and with those new lights installed and you can see if you would like to do something similar these lights I think at the time cost about forty dollars for these LED lights that are long like this. Okay one other thing I want to mention is when you're wiring this thing make for sure that you run the cable away from the track or anything that moves on the garage door opener. And so I have secured the cable, which you can see here, with a zip tie to the framework that holds the garage door opener to the ceiling. And then I'm routing it around the back so there's no possibility of get, it getting tangled in the mechanics of the garage door. Okay, just like that. Okay, this is what it looks like with the lights on. So now you can see the difference. I hope this provides something helpful for you. Hey, if you like my videos, subscribe. I'll make more. Bye.